Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts through the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding fine top scoring students part 2. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the Pandas schema in the distant box below. Okay, so we are given a table called students with three different columns, student ID, name and major. Student ID being the primary key for this table. Each row contains student ID, name and their major. We are also given a second table called courses with five different columns, course ID, name, credits, major and mandatory. Course ID being the primary key for this table. Mandatory is an enum type of yes or no. Each row contains the course ID, course name, credits, major it belongs to and whether the course is mandatory or not. We are also given a third table called enrollments. Again, five different columns, student ID, course ID, semester, grade and GPA. The combined column student ID, course ID and semester is the primary key for this table. Each row contains the student ID, course ID, semester and grade received. We are asked to write a solution to find the students who meet the following criteria. Have taken all mandatory courses and at least two elective courses offered in their major. Achieved a grade of A in all mandatory courses and at least B in elective courses and then maintained an average GPA of at least 2.5 across all their courses, including those outside their major. Return the result table ordered by student ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through the example. Here we have four different students, Alice, Bob, Charlie and David, and these are their majors. Now we have a courses table where we have various courses, names, credits, major, and whether they are mandatory or not. And then we also have an enrollments table where we have different student ID and course ID, which semester they are enrolled in, what is the grade and GPA. So let's look at which students satisfy all the criteria. Firstly, they should take all the mandatory courses. If we look at, let's say, a student ID 1, Alice, has a major computer science. And in computer science, how many mandatory courses do we have? So you have 1, 2, and yes, so 2 mandatory courses and 2 electives. Now, let's look at whether the person has taken both the mandatory courses or not. And mandatory courses are 101 and 102. Let me just drag it to the right so that it's easier for us. Right. Okay. So, mandatory courses are 101 and 102. Now, let's look at whether student ID 1 has enrolled in 101 and 102. So, yes, has taken all the mandatory courses and the questions also ask us whether they have taken all the mandatory courses and at least two elective courses in their major. So if courses in computer science are machine learning that is 105 and 107 which are not mandatory that means they are electives. So one has also taken 105 and 107. So yes, first condition is satisfied for student ID 1. Then achieved a grade of A in all mandatory courses and at least B in elective courses. So if we look at all mandatory courses, so A and A, so obviously A in both the mandatory courses and at least B, right? So A and B. Yes, it satisfies both of them as well. And the third condition is an average GPA of 2.5 across all the courses. So for student ID 1, the person is only enrolled in courses which are they in their major. But the question says, irrespective of which course the person is involved in, we need to calculate the average GPA and it should be greater than 2.5. So basically, if you calculate the average GPA of 4, 4, 4 and 3.5, it is obviously greater than 2.5. So student ID 1 should be in the output. And similarly, we can go ahead and do all that for every other student ID as well. So you have that same thing in output. So what we need is, since the question says that we need to take care of the, the first two conditions, and says that should be offered in their major. So what we can do is since the entire information is spread out into three different tables, the major column to join students and courses so that we know whether the courses that they are taking are mandatory or not. And then we can use the student ID and course ID combination to join on the enrollments table to get the grade and GPA. And then we can check for those conditions that were asked. So let's try to do that. Firstly, what we are going to do is, let me just drag it to the left. What we are going to do is, from this table called students aliased as S, let us 
perform a left join of the courses table aliased as C using the major column. So using major and then let us keep everything from the students table. So S dot star and from the courses table, what do we need? We need the course ID and the mandatory column, right? So let us keep C dot course ID and C dot mandatory column. Okay. Now let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So if we look at our output, this is what we have. Let me just take it to the left so that it's easier for us to verify and visualize. So now we have all the student IDs, their names, major course IDs and whether those courses are mandatory or not. Okay. Now another set of information that we want is what grades they scored. So how can we get that? We can get using the enrollments table. That means we can join on the student ID and course ID column and get the grade and GPA columns. So let us go ahead and do that. So what we are doing is let us perform a left join of the enrollments table aliased as E using or on S dot student ID is equal to E dot student ID. So you see if I just drag it above. So you have student ID here and course ID as well, right? So S dot student ID is equal to E dot student ID. And what you are going to do is and course ID is coming from courses table. So C dot course ID is equal to E dot course ID. And from this enrollments table, what do we need to keep? The grade and GPA. So let me just pull it down. What we want is just give me E dot grade and E dot GPA. Okay. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So now if I drag this above, what we have here is we have the student ID, their name, what is their major, their course ID, whether the course is mandatory or not, what is the grade score and GPA. Now, if you are seeing null, so basically what this means is even though for Bob who belongs to a major computer science and course ID 107 is a course in computer science and even though it is an elective, this person has not enrolled in that because if that person is not enrolled, that combination of student ID and course ID will not be in the enrollment table and therefore it will not find a match and you have nulls in the grade and GPA columns coming from the enrollment table. Okay. So now once you have all the information, you need to go step by step and try to see, okay, what all conditions we need to meet. Let me just drag it to the right somewhat so that it's easier for us to see the conditions. The first condition it says is have taken all mandatory courses and at least two elective courses offered in their major. And second condition is achieved a grade A in all mandatory courses and at least B in elective courses. Actually, you can combine these two conditions. Let's see how. Okay. Let me just drag this above. Now for Alice, if I want to know, okay, whether Alice has taken all the mandatory courses or not. So in computer science, there are two mandatory courses. Why? Because mandatory says yes in these two, 101 and 102. And since we have joined the student ID and the course ID on the major column, therefore it will have all the courses in the, in the computer science major. What we do is, so if the mandatory column is yes, assign the value one, else you assign the value zero and you sum this up. So what will this do for Alice? It will give you the sum is going to be one plus one. That is two. And then what you do is you also need to check in the, in the mandatory courses. The person has to score a grade. So if you do, if the mandatory column is yes and you get a grade is equal to a, then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero and you perform a sum. So in this case, both of these are going to come out to be two and two. So Alice will be in the output. And how is this making sure of these conditions? Like they have taken all the mandatory courses and achieved a grade of A in all mandatory courses. So you performed a count that, okay, there were two mandatory courses and in both the courses, the person achieved a grade A. Similarly, for 
two elective courses and at least B. So what you can do is if mandatory is equal to no, then you assign the value 1, else you assign the value 0 and the grade is either A or B because at least B means A or B and if that sum comes out to be at least 2, that means this person has at least taken two electives from their major and has scored at least B in the courses. If I write this, it will make this more clear. So what we are going to do is as we need this for every student. So let me do this. Let us group by the student ID column. So group by the student ID and we are only concerned in keeping those rows or those students having. So what I am doing is firstly we need to make sure that all the mandatory courses are taken and A is scored in all the mandatory courses. So what I am doing is if mandatory column is coming from the courses table. So if C dot mandatory is equal to yes then you assign the value 1 else you assign the value 0 and you perform the sum and if this comes out to equal as if again you do the same thing if this is mandatory right so let me just copy this if it comes out to be mandatory and what you do is multiply by the grade should be a right in mandatory courses you need to score grade a so if grade is coming from enrollments table so e dot grade is equal to a then you assign the value 1 else you assign the value 0 let me just drag it to the left okay and you perform a sum right if you perform a sum so as we saw for alice this part this left part is going to come out to 2 and then this part is also going to come out as 2. Why? Because yes and A, yes and A, so 1 and 1 and you perform a sum, so 2 is equal to 2, so Alice will be kept in the output. So let me go ahead and run this. Right? So we won't be needing all this or since we grouped by student ID, we can only keep student ID. So let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay. So these are the students, so student ID 1 and 3 as we saw have taken all the mandatory courses and they have also scored grade A. But this is not the only condition that we want. We also need to make sure that they have at least taken two elective courses and scored at least B in them. So what we can do is and the second condition that needs to be satisfied is if Right. So let me just paste it here. If the mandatory is no, that means it's an elective and multiplication of and the grade should be at least B. Right. So if I just copy this, paste it here and then if I do, if grade is in, so right, if grade is in either A or B, that means it's at least B and then if you multiply this, so this should give you some numbers and you performed a sum. So basically this is going to give you that, okay, how many courses that electives were taken and at least A or B was scored and this should be at least 2. So greater than equal to 2. Now if I go ahead and run this, this is what I am going to get. Even though this says accepted, but obviously this is not complete yet. So if I look at my output, so again 1 and 3 because they satisfy both of these conditions. Now, the third thing that the question asks is, if I look at the condition, it says maintained an average GPA of at least 2.5. Now, you might be thinking, oh, if I just go ahead and do and right, let me just show you here. So, if I do and average of E dot GPA is greater than equal to 2.5, it should be fine, right? But no, why no? Because of this line including those outside their major now in case one as we saw right in case one if you look at this every person whatever major they belong to they are actually taking only those courses that the major they belong to however in case number two you are going to see that that's not the case because if you look at this person right bob bob has a major physics now if you look at physics so physics has three different courses, so course ID 1, 2 and 3. However, if you look at student ID 2, 
Student ID 2, which is Bob, is enrolled in 1, 2 and 3. Yes, fine. But 4, 5 and 6, which belong to chemistry major and not the major this person belongs to. However, the question asks us maintain an average GPA of 2.5 across all their courses. So since here you have performed a left join using the major column, in your output, you are going to have null values in the GPA column. So, that is why if you go ahead and directly do this average part here, it is not going to work. Let me go ahead and run this. It is so right now it says accepted in both of these, right? Case 1 and case 2. But if I go ahead and run this, it will show a wrong answer in case 2. You see, that is the problem. So, to take care of this, what I am going to do is remove this. So, here we have got all the students which satisfy first two conditions. Let me just save this in a common table expression. So, with CTE as this entire thing goes into parentheses. And now what I am doing is, so now I have the list that satisfied both the conditions. And I need to check the third condition. So, from this common table expression, I am only going to keep those students who are also going to satisfy my GPA condition. So, where student ID is in. And now what I am doing is, from the enrollments table, group by the student ID having average of GPA greater than equal to 2.5. And for these kind of people, let me just bring it down. For these kind of people, return me the student ID. Okay. And then what I'm going to return is, since in our output, we only need the student ID and the final output should be ordered by student ID in ascending order, right? So, I'm going to do order by student ID in ascending order. Now, let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output. So, you see, now this is accepted for both case 1 and case 2. And our output is exactly same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases or not. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So yes, very technical and very hard question, like kind of lengthy as well. But what we basically did was we firstly joined the students and courses table using the major column because of the question where it says, in their major right courses in their major and then we we also joined the enrollments table using the student id and course id to see whether the person has enrolled in that and what's the score and gpa etc and then we satisfied both the conditions however the third condition says irrespective of whatever the major is for the person we need the average gpa across all their courses so that is why we got the list of students who satisfy the first two conditions and then we also made sure that the third condition is satisfied directly from the enrollments table. And then we return the final list of students. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better, more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.